Hi everybody, Joe here, Noonan 25 WRCL 957-KI4ASK. That's a mouthful. Some of you have reached out to tell me that you're going to be using a um, frequency offset attenuator and a loop, and I thought I would demonstrate how that I have works. here a baby fox that's broadcasting just a couple hundred milliwatts. A VHF radio transceiver. We're only going to be using the receive only function. A frequency offset attenuator by Aero Antennas. It's a 4 megahertz offset attenuator and also a VHF fox hunting. Loop Basic antenna. principle of the frequency offset attenuator is this you start with the frequency on the fox frequency. In this case, it's 146.565 megahertz you take it either four megahertz up or down, it doesn't matter, and then you use the attenuator to add back in that megahertz. So, right now, we have a full signal strength. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the frequency four megahertz off. Okay, so now we're on 142.565, and you see there's no received signal strength. So if I turn on the attenuator, it adds back in the four megahertz. And we've got a full signal strength. So what we're trying to do to close in on the Fox is actually dampen the signal because it's overloading the transceiver. So what I do then is add attenuation until the signal strength is gone. Now if I move it back, it adds the four megahertz back in and I'm on frequency. Now the benefit of using a frequency offset attenuator is the elimination of RF interference coming in through the radio itself. So even if I take off the antenna, you still might pick up a signal. Remember the last hundred yards of a fox hunt are often the most challenging. And this is one tool that you can use to help you zero in on that fox. See you Saturday. Okay, another technique to dampen the signal of the fox or attenuate it when you're close in is simply take the antenna off your radio and or use body blocking. So in this case, I'm gonna take the antenna off and you can see I still have quite a bit of signal strength there. But if I body block it, the signal strength goes down. The fox is behind me and I'm blocking the signal with it. That's another inexpensive way to attenuate the signal of the fox. Okay, another tool that you can use is a loop antenna to find the null, which also effectively attenuates the signal. In this case, the edge of the loop, the circumference of the circle, is pointing toward the fox, and I have a full signal readout on the fox. Now, if I turn the loop so that the inside of the circle is facing the fox, the signal will dampen or go away. Okay, as you can see, I've turned the loop so that the inside of the circle is facing the fox, and it has effectively attenuated the signal. So in this case, instead of finding the strongest signal, you can use the inverse of that and find the lack of signal to zero in on the fox. Now just remember, the circle has two edges to it. So you have to pay attention to which way is forward and backward as you're trying to zero out the knoll. Body blocking will help you with that. 